so hello everyone today i will show you how you can create a rope simulation or any kind of simulation like uh, if you want to simulate any kind of hoodie thread or you can say rope or shoelace or anything okay so you how you can simulate that thing okay so the easiest way is to use a cloth simulation to simulate those type of things because if you try to use the soft body simulation then it will not work that well so i will show you the cloth simulation and it is very simple you can create any kind of simulation with that one so what you have to do first is you have to just create a plane like this and then you can just scale this thing like this and go to the edit mode and stretch this thing okay so I will press G, X, like this, okay? So suppose we want to simulate some kind of rope and the length of the rope is something like that, okay? Something like this. So you have to make sure that you make enough length. It depends what you want to simulate. If you want to simulate a rope, long rope, then you have to stretch this thing longer and if you want to make it like something called hoodie threads or you can say shoelace or locket chain and other stuff then you can make this thing smaller it depends okay and then what you have to do you have to just press ctrl r and you have to just give some like loop cuts okay do not go too much because it will create problems go something like something like this okay enough gaps so that it can fold easily and if you create too much loops then it will bend so much and it will look weird so make sure that you give enough gaps like that so it will not create any kind of problem so after that what you have to do you have to just go to your modifier section not modify you have to go to this one physics and then you have to enable a cloth okay so in the cloth simulation if you enable this thing now and if you play the simulation you can see the everything is falling down because there is no fixed point okay so what you have to do you have to go to your edit mode you can just select this two vertices and then you have to just add a vertex and you have to rename this thing to pinned okay and then you have to assign so now if you go to weight pinned you can see this area is red it means it will not simulate it okay by the cloth simulation and then you have to go to your cloth simulation again and then you have to just hide these things you really don't need these things you have to go to the shape and make sure that you just expand everything because you need these things and you have to just go to the shape there is a pin group you have to just assign that pin okay and then what you have to do if you let's play the simulation again you see it's holding that position and it is falling down like that okay so now what you have to do for the demonstration purpose i will just add a cube like this and i will move this thing in this area something like that okay if you play this thing now you can see this is intersecting with the cube in order to make it collide you have to select the cube and then you have to go to the collision okay make sure that you increase the damping and reduce this thing make this thing 0 0.003 and go to the field absorption and turn this thing one okay and then if you play you see this is colliding with the cube properly and now you will say this is not even look like a rope you will say this is a, just a plane that is simulating with the cross simulation and it doesn't look like a rope so in order to make it look like a rope what you have to do you don't have to change anything to this one uh what you have to do you have to just add a so suppose if you want to make a rope okay so you can just add a cylinder and then you can scale this thing down like that rotate it in the y direction 90 degrees and then what you can do you will you have to just make this thing up like that select the face of this thing and then you have to stretch this like that okay so you have to make sure the length of this cylinder has to match with the cloth simulation stuff or else it will create some problems so like this you can see uh, it is somewhat looking like a rope but it is kind of thick so what i can do i can just scale this thing a little bit like that and now it is looking something like a rope yeah it's a small rope and then i will just select the face and then i will stretch this thing okay so now what you have to do you have to give some loop cuts because if you do not give any kind of loop cut to this one then it couldn't be able to bend so you have to give some control r and you have to just give some loop cuts so the more loop cut you will give the smoothen it will bend so in this case you can go a little bit higher on the loop cut you can go higher to this one also but 
just try with this one if it is working fine then you don't need to increase the loop cut because when you increase the loop cuts or subdivision then what will happen it will increase your render time so try with load like this and then if it is working fine if it is not working and you are not getting the results that you need then you can increase the loop cut but in this case it is looking fine and uh, i can use that thing also so right now you can see this is properly divided into several pieces now if you simulate this mesh then it will properly bend okay so after that what you have to do so you don't have to simulate this this rope what you have to do it's very simple you have to just go to the deform modifier and you will get a surface deform modifier okay you have to drag this thing and select your plane okay and then what you have to do you have to just click on bind and now what will happen when you simulate this thing you see it is following the curve properly and it is simulating you see like that uh, now you will see this type of gap in the simulation so it's very easy to fix you have to just unbind this thing and you have to make sure that it is properly touching the this thing like that and now if you go to the bind option again and now you see this is properly colliding with the mesh there is not that much gap between these two okay so like that you can simulate the rope suppose if you want to move the whole cloth simulation from left to right or anything or you want to attach this uh, rope simulation to a character body or you can say a pole or anything okay how you can do that okay so the first thing you have to do you have to just click on this one you have to go to the edit mode so you have to just select this two vertices and you have to press ctrl h okay then you will see a hook to new object it will look like this so now this is uh, empty that is connected to the claw simulation so what will happen now if you move this empty the claw simulation will follow this empty okay so if i just give some keyframes and you have to make sure that your hook empty is on the top if it is on the bottom of the cloth simulation then it will create some problem so you have to make sure that it is on top you have to make sure that you enable the viewport this one or else it will be not simulated you can't see the simulation and you can change the settings and so for the rope it will be much better if you are something called leather so the leather is a kind of thick material so what will happen it will create that thickness in the rope not thickness but that bendiness it will not bend easily and if you want it to be like a normal thread something like that then you can use other stuff also you can try with these things with different uh, presets you have to just select and go and cotton denim you can try with other stuff but for now i will go with leather and then you have to go down and there you will see the frame rates you have to set the frame rate and you can enable the collision also you you can increase this thing to 5 decrease the collision distance to 0.111 or you can go with 0.03 also and enable the self collision okay these things are important and reduce the distance or as it can create some problem with your simulation it depends right now this is not creating problem because this is a very simple simulation but if you try to create some kind of complicated simulation then it will create problem so you have to make sure that you enable the settings and then after doing all of these things you have to just click on bake and you can see bake is completed and you see it is following the empty like that okay and now you will notice one thing that the cloth is very stiff if you see if i go to this mode you can see it is very stiff because i'm using the leather preset that's why it is very stiff and if you if i go up if i delete all bakes and then if i go up and let's try with cotton okay i will go to the first frame delete all bake bake ah uh, now you can see it is working fine so you can try with different presets sometimes it doesn't work with all of the preset like silk or something like that it depends so you have to hit and trial it depends on the uh material not material like if you want to simulate a chain suppose a metal chain then the property of the metal chain the heaviness of that thing is different and on that and depending on that you have to change the settings of these things and then the next thing that you can do if you want to pair this thing with a object okay it's very simple uh suppose i want a cube it can be anything shoe or like a character you can pair pair with anything so you have to make sure that you do not add any kind of keyframe 
to your empty or else it will create problems and now what you have to do you have to just do the same step control p and then keep transform and now you can see it is following the cube now it is moving with the cube and now what you can do you can give the keyframe to the cube and now you can see it is following the cube so like this you can connect this thing to anything and it will work perfectly now it is creating this type of rope you can create cables or old cables electric cables anything okay so the main thing is that you have to create a separate claw simulation uh, stuff like this and then you have to simulate that plane as a claw simulation and then what you have to do you have to connect your main mesh so in my case this is my main mesh uh, you have to just add a surface deform modifier to the uh, claw simulation so like this you are not affecting the main mesh also and you are getting the proper simulation okay and so now you will say why we can't just go and simulate this pole like that and it will work no it will not it will not work because uh, claw simulation works properly with only planes it will not uh, simulate the meshes so you have to simulate the plane first and then you have to attach the mesh with your plane okay if you are getting some kind of um, this type of weird bending the smoothness of this thing is not adequate you can just go to this one and you can go to the generate and there is a subdivision surface you can add this thing Mm, if I go to 2, so now you can see this is giving me the smooth bending like that. But you have to you have to make sure that this will create this type of intersecting because you are adding the subdivision before the after the claw simulation. So if you want to fix this intersection issue, then you have to drag this thing up like that and it will just break everything. So you have to rebake all all this thing again so if i go to this one and delete all and then you have to click on bake and now you can see it is properly doing this stuff okay you see this is colliding properly so right now you can see there we have some kind of intersection because this cube has a very sharp edge and in real life you will not get this type of edge but still if you want to make this thing look better what you can do you have to give more loops a uh, uh, loop cut because right now you can see this one we have one loop cut and this one we have another loop cut so the loop cut loop cut are very less in this rope that's why it is not properly bending so you have to give more loop cuts into this one and it will work fine okay so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching